Have you ever wondered about the battles that raged across the vast Pacific Ocean during World War II? Picture a theater not of stages and curtains but of war, a vast expanse of ocean and islands where some of the most powerful nations on Earth locked horns in a fierce struggle. This is the Pacific Theater, a significant arena of World War II that spanned millions of square miles, stretching from the icy Aleutians to the tropical Solomon Islands. The Pacific Theater was unique not just for its size but for the challenges it presented. The vast distances, the varied climates from tropical heat to arctic cold, and the widely scattered islands, each posed a unique set of challenges to the combatants. It was here that strategies had to be rethought, battleships re-engineered, and troops retrained. Today, we journey through time, to understand the key battles and strategies that shaped the Pacific Theater. The Pacific Theater was ignited by a surprise military strike, the attack on Pearl Harbor. On a calm Sunday morning, December 7, 1941, the Pacific paradise of Hawaii was suddenly thrust into the throes of war. Japanese planes, appearing almost out of nowhere, swooped down on the unsuspecting American naval base at Pearl Harbor. Why did Japan embark on this audacious attack, you might wonder? The answer lies in the geopolitical landscape of the time. Japan, an emerging empire was hungry for resources, particularly oil, which was crucial to fuel its military and industrial ambitions. The United States, alarmed by Japan's aggression in China, had imposed an oil embargo on Japan. Desperate and cornered, Japan decided to strike first, hoping to cripple the U.S. Pacific fleet and buy time to consolidate its empire. The attack was swift, brutal, and devastatingly effective. In less than two hours the Japanese sank or severely damaged eight American battleships, three cruisers and four destroyers, and destroyed nearly 200 aircraft. Over 2,400 Americans were killed, and another 1,200 were wounded. The shock of Pearl Harbor reverberated across the United States, turning public opinion decisively in favor of entering the war. On December 8, President Franklin D. Roosevelt addressed Congress, calling the day of the attack, a date which will live in infamy. Congress declared war on Japan, and three days later, Germany and Italy, Japan's allies, declared war on the United States. Suddenly, the United States was plunged into a global war on two fronts, Europe and the Pacific. The attack on Pearl Harbor was a tactical victory for Japan, but it was a strategic blunder. It awakened the sleeping giant of America, transforming it from a neutral nation into a determined belligerent. The attack on Pearl Harbor marked the beginning of the Pacific War, a conflict that would span across the vast Pacific Ocean. One of the most pivotal battles of the Pacific Theater was the Battle of Midway. It was a clash between the United States and Japan that took place from June 4th to 7th, in the year 1942. This battle was significant for several reasons. Midway was not just a random piece of land in the Pacific, it was a strategic island that the Japanese sought to seize to extend their defensive perimeter. Japan's plan was to lure America's remaining carriers into a trap. However, unbeknownst to them, American cryptographers had cracked the Japanese code, and the US was well aware of their intentions. The battle commenced with the Japanese striking first, bombarding the island with their aircraft. However, American forces were prepared. In a twist of fate, American aircraft found the Japanese carriers at a vulnerable moment and launched a counterattack. In the span of a few minutes, three of the four Japanese carriers were ablaze, their decks littered with destroyed aircraft. The Americans had turned the tide. The Japanese, having lost their air superiority, were forced to withdraw. The Battle of Midway was one of the first major victories for the Allies in the Pacific. It significantly weakened the Japanese fleet and shifted the balance of power in the Pacific. It's crucial to note that the Battle of Midway was not just about the tactical victory, it was also a battle of intelligence and strategy. The Americans' ability to crack the Japanese code was a significant factor in their success. This battle demonstrated the importance of intelligence gathering and the use of that information in warfare. Moreover, the Battle of Midway marked a turning point in the Pacific War. It halted Japanese expansion in the Pacific and put them on the defensive for the rest of the war. It was a signal to the world that the tides of war were beginning to change. The Battle of Midway was a decisive victory for the Allies and marked a turning point in the Pacific War. It was a testament to the bravery, intelligence, and strategic prowess of those who fought, forever changing the trajectory of World War II. From the air and sea, we move to the jungles with the Guadalcanal Campaign. In the midst of World War II, the Guadalcanal Campaign was a major turning point in the battle for the Pacific. 
This campaign was the Allies' first major offensive against the Japanese Empire, and it took place from August 7 to February 9, 1942 to 1943. Guadalcanal, a jungle-covered island in the Solomon Islands chain, was pivotal due to its strategic location. The Japanese had begun constructing an airfield there that could potentially give them control of the seas and skies of the South Pacific. The Allies, recognizing the threat this posed, launched an invasion to take over Guadalcanal and the surrounding islands. The campaign was grueling, characterized by intense jungle warfare and brutal naval battles. Both sides faced immense challenges. For the Allies, the thick jungle terrain, tropical diseases and limited supplies made the fight all the more difficult. The Japanese on the other hand were hindered by their overextended supply lines and a lack of coordination between their army and navy. Despite these challenges, the Allies managed to seize control of Guadalcanal's airfield, which they renamed Henderson Field, and used it as a base for their own operations. The Japanese made several attempts to retake the airfield, leading to fierce and bloody battles. However, they were eventually forced to withdraw, marking the first major land defeat for Japan in World War II. The Guadalcanal campaign was more than a battle for an island. It was a test of wills, endurance, and strategy. It marked a shift in momentum in favor of the Allies, and set the stage for their island-hopping strategy, which would eventually lead them to the doorstep of Japan. The Guadalcanal campaign was a significant victory for the Allies, but it highlighted the brutal conditions of warfare in the Pacific. Now let's turn our attention to one of the bloodiest battles in the Pacific theater, the Battle of Iwo Jima. It was February 1945, a time when the Pacific War had been raging for years. The American forces eyed Iwo Jima, a tiny but strategically crucial island, just over 750 miles from Tokyo. Its capture would not only provide a base for fighter escorts and bombers, but also deny its use to the Japanese. The stage was set for a battle that would become a symbol of the Pacific War's ferocity. This wasn't a typical beach assault. The Americans were greeted by a network of tunnels, bunkers, and artillery positions. The Japanese had prepared for months, turning the island into an impregnable fortress. They were ready to fight to the last man, a reflection of the Bushido Code, the way of the warrior, which held honor above life itself. The battle raged on for over a month. The Marines and sailors fought inch by inch, bunker by bunker, under a relentless barrage of Japanese fire. The iconic image of six servicemen raising the American flag atop Mount Suribachi, the island's highest point, became a symbol of hope and resilience amidst the chaos. But the cost was high, nearly 7,000 Americans and over 18,000 Japanese soldiers lost their lives. The Battle of Iwo Jima was a brutal hard-fought victory, a testament to the courage and tenacity of those who fought. Yet, it was more than just a battle. It was a turning point. The capture of Iwo Jima brought the war closer to Japan's doorstep, a sign that the end was near. The Japanese resolve was beginning to falter, their resources dwindling. The tide of the war was turning in favor of the Allies. The Battle of Iwo Jima was a brutal reminder of the human cost of war, and marked a significant step towards the end of the Pacific War. The Pacific War came to an end with two events that changed the course of history. In the summer of 1945 the world watched in shock and awe as the United States dropped two atomic bombs on the Japanese cities of Hiroshima and Nagasaki. This was the first and to this day the only use of nuclear weapons in warfare. The devastation was immediate and unimaginable. Buildings and infrastructure were obliterated, leaving nothing but a desolate landscape in their wake. Countless lives were lost in an instant, and those who survived, faced a future marked by radiation sickness and the trauma of the event. The decision to drop these bombs was not made lightly. The United States, along with its allied forces, had been engaged in a brutal and costly war with Japan in the Pacific theater. Despite significant losses, Japan had refused to surrender, and the Allies were faced with the prospect of a prolonged and bloody invasion of the Japanese mainland. President Harry S. Truman and his advisors believed that the use of atomic bombs could bring about a swift end to the war, potentially saving thousands if not millions of lives. This decision, however controversial, was ultimately the catalyst for Japan's surrender. On August 15, just days after the second bomb was dropped, Emperor Hirohito announced Japan's surrender over the radio. It was a momentous occasion, marking the end of World War II. The surrender was formalized aboard the USS Missouri on September 2, 1945, bringing an end to the six-year global conflict. The dropping of the atomic bombs and the subsequent surrender of Japan were pivotal moments in history. 
They marked not only the end of the most destructive war the world had ever seen but also, the dawn of the nuclear age. An era characterized by the potential for unimaginable destruction and the need for unprecedented diplomacy. The Pacific War ended with a dramatic display of power, forever changing the course of history. From the surprise attack on Pearl Harbor to the dropping of atomic bombs, the Pacific Theater was a series of intense battles and strategic maneuvers. This vast and volatile stage saw some of the most significant encounters of the Second World War. We began our journey with the infamous attack on Pearl Harbor, a day that will forever live in infamy. It was this unexpected assault that directly propelled America into the fray, marking the start of the Pacific War. We then moved on to the Battle of Midway, a turning point in the war that saw the Allied forces gaining a crucial upper hand. The Japanese Navy, intending to eliminate the United States as a strategic power in the Pacific, instead met with a devastating defeat that shifted the balance of power. The Guadalcanal Campaign, one of the longest and most grueling of the Pacific theater, was another pivotal moment we explored. This battle, fought on land, at sea, and in the air, was a testament to the sheer endurance and determination of the Allied forces. Then came the Battle of Iwo Jima, which spotlighted the fierce determination of Japanese forces and the immense sacrifices made. The iconic image of soldiers raising the American flag atop Mount Suribachi is a stark symbol of this fierce and bloody battle. Finally the end of the war arrived with the dropping of two atomic bombs on Hiroshima and Nagasaki. This unprecedented act brought about Japan's surrender and marked the conclusion of the war in the Pacific. Throughout these strategic maneuvers and intense battles, both Allied and Japanese forces faced immense challenges. The vast expanse of the Pacific Ocean, the brutal conditions, and the sheer scale of the war effort tested the limits of human endurance and military strategy. The Pacific theater was a testament to human endurance and strategic brilliance, forever etched in the annals of history.